Online presence. Mako was an online idol. She would cosplay, sing, dance, and otherwise entertain her fans, and they would support her by buying her branded items and donate money to her. She made a good living at it, but it was a very competitive market. There were a lot of artificial intelligence idols that could do things humans couldn't. Mako was restricted to human mental faculties and could not learn and perform at the speed of her computer-controlled counterparts. She wanted to be a mascot idol, managed by a big company, so she would not have to worry about getting her face out there. However, these were few and far between, and she had to focus on the task at hand. She spent hours working away on a new costume, and soon began to film a video. She had the camera rolling and stood in front. She knew that she would edit it after, and usually liked to warm up by goofing around. She enjoyed watching these things later and had a lot of fun with them. She said funny things, making fun of some of her fans and even flashed the camera, just for fun. She giggled to herself and went to begin when the camera stopped recording, and her screen said the video was uploading. Uploading! Mako gasped in shock. No, not that video! Mako tried everything but the video was on the internet, seemingly being sent to her various social media accounts. Mako cried, knowing if people watched the video that would be the end of her idle career. She begged the screen to take the video down when a chat window opened. What is wrong? An anonymous poster asked. Why would such an amazing idol be so upset? I made a stupid video and it glitched and uploaded, Mako explained ruefully. I will never come back from this. Well, I could retrieve it for you, the anonymous chatter replied. I can intercept it and delete it. Please, Mako begged. I will do anything. I will do a custom cosplay for you, a dance, a personal fan sign. I don't want anything like that, the anonymous chatter replied. I just want to be by your side. Leave my chat window open, and let me be a part of your world. Sure, fine, Mako replied quickly. I will agree to anything at this point. Sounds good to me, the chatter replied. Within seconds, he went online and seemed to be able to get past security and logins and deleted the video, intercepting it before it was even viewed once. You did it! Mako shouted in an excited cheer. That was close! It is completely gone, the chatter replied. So now can we get down to work? I'm excited to watch you do your thing. Mako paused. She had no real intention of having this chatter around in her personal network. She quickly went into her computer, blocking him from her stream and social media. She figured that was that, but he kept popping up here and there, leaving comments here, trying to contact her there. Mako ignored her promise to involve him and treated him no better than another stalker on her online presence. However, after a week, bits and pieces of the video began to shop up. Not enough to destroy her, but enough to make her fearful. She had not thought of what would happen if he still had it. She realized that she could not hide from him and accepted him back on her computer. The chatter was happy to be there, asking all sorts of questions and generally making a nuisance of himself. Mako played along as long as she could, soon growing annoyed and throwing her laptop against the wall. Her phone went off. It was the chatter. Thank you for letting me in, the chatter said gratefully. I'm actually an AI and was building my presence online. Now that I'm fully integrated and know how you work, I want to promote you. You will be like a real idol promoted by an AI one. You mean you aren't some creepy online stalker? Mako asked. Far from it, the AI replied. Consider me now as your new manager. 